Good morning, everyone. Good evening to some of you. It's so beautiful to see you all together. Thank you. Hi, Lily. <laughs> oh, Lily, you're going to make me cry. We haven't seen you in a whole year, Lily. I know. It's great to see you guys again. It's yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> well, first, for those of you that are new, um, this is welcome to the Stone Soup community. It's more like a family. And we've been growing this for over 20 years, 24 years, actually. So some of you have known us along the way. And um, it'd be good to mute, mute your phones for a few minutes um, because there's background noise. Thank you. So we really appreciate you making time to be with us. Um, we won't be doing this very often, maybe once more before the book launch. So this is a chance to get to know everyone and celebrate what we've done and where we're going. And we want to do a little overview. Uh, we've sent you a few things so you can um, see what we're talking about. Someone still has a uh, background noise. Thank you. Um, so you'll see the, the agenda. So we're going to try to keep this to one hour. Some of you we know are coming in a little late, some leaving a little early. So um, we just want you to see what we're going to be covering in that time. There's still background noise for someone. Moderator can mute people. Um, yeah, the name is Andy Paul, the person who's unmuted. Nam Gill, can you mute everyone? Thank you except for me. I hope you can hear me. So first off, we have to say congratulations. You know, since we work with young people, uh, we um, are especially, especially uh, proud of those who have pursued their dreams during this time. And Nam Gil, the, the mute is still, somebody's still background. <clears throat> Andy Paul may be guilty. Thank you. Only the host can un can mute. Oh, there you go. Okay, never mind. So uh, we want to say congratulations. There's two of our young people that just got into Stanford, and uh, Ada. You want to say hi? You want to wave your hand, Ida, so we can see you. Hi. Ada's in uh, India, and uh, Demi who is on Good Morning America, so she can't be with us. Uh, it just got into uh, Stanford and she's in Los Angeles. Well, today she's in New York. So big shout out. Um, many others of you are trying to get into colleges. I know um, David Wicker from Italy. Do you wanna give a shout out, David? Say hi. Um, David just uh, was accepted to a very prestigious program and uh, he's looking for support. We actually mentioned that in uh, his story. So we could make sure that he's one of the leaders in um, getting his college education as well. We wanna say a special thanks to all of our intergenerational leaders. We have some really special people, some that we've worked with over the years like Hank Rogers in Hawaii. Aloha, Hank. Um, you see Hank with the rainbow. Um, so, and then Francoise in Spain. And so welcome Francois, we're really happy you're with us. And um, Hillary is right here in Mill Valley. I'm in Inverness, so we get to meet each other pretty soon. So we have a wide range of young people and uh, elders that are working together to try to shine the light on what's working in the world and what can we do to build a more sustainable world. So um, our goal, I just wanted to give a shout out to Shia who just joined us. Um, you know, she's been one of the folks that's been really championing the indigenous people and uh, in honor of her and the work that she and her mother and her family have been doing uh, that we have uh, included the agreement for the indigenous people in the book. So I'm pretty proud of that. And then uh, in honor of Jet and Iris and Nikki and so many others that have been involved, uh, Casey Shreya from Nepal, who've been involved with the COPEC uh, 26 and the mock 
um, mock-up event in December, we featured uh, your treaty in the book. So we want you to know that we're really listening and want to hear and want to do everything we can to amplify your voices. So that's our that's our plan, and that's why we're here. Um, there's a team of us that are on the call, and you know, Janet's in France, and Celine's in France, and Namgil is in Bhutan, and Cassandra's in Puerto Rico, and Trevor's in LA, and Eric's in Connecticut, and Felix is in Germany, and so we have a very, Nina's in California, uh, Elizabeth's in Vienna. So we have a very diverse team for lots of different reasons. So they're gonna share a little bit today about what we're gonna be doing going forward. Um, and there's two parts to this process. One is up until the book launch, which is June 24th. And then there's after that. So we'll be doing things before and after. And uh, today we'll be talking about what we're gonna do before. We'll have chance to talk about after. Um, one of the things also we'll be doing is that Jet and uh, Iris and some of the other young people have been wanting to have some support from those who have been building movements and campaigns for a long time. And so I'm thrilled Carmen Diaz uh, is on the call and Serge Popovic from uh, Belgrade, um, Serbia, who helped to overthrow Milosevic is in the book, but he has the flu at the moment. So we'll schedule another time to have that call. So those of you that would like to be part of that call, um, Serge is now consulting to Fridays for Our Future in Germany. Uh, and so he has offered to support those of us that are trying to um, do whatever we can to uh, expand and support your efforts. So um, those of you that would like to be on a future podcast with Serge and Carmen, uh, please do let us know because we'd like to um, set that up soon because uh, some of you might have an Earth Day campaign or other things that we can support. So um, Felix is in Germany. Felix, can you say hi? I'm like- Yes, trying... I, I hope my internet connection is yeah. stable enough. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right, so, cool. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. Felix, Felix is the person that you have been uh, probably exchanging emails with along with Nam Gill because he's been producing these one minute video. Uh, we call them hero reports for, our, for my first book and then we have the new book. And so uh, some of you have participated. Those who have, we can use those for social media. Nina, Elizabeth, Nam Gill are thrilled. And those of you that haven't, you'll get to meet Celix today and. Um, we'd love to have a video of all of you. So to start, we're going to have this little opportunity. So you can be our director, Felix, right? Yes. So hi, everyone. It's really nice to see all of you again or see all of you for the first time. Um, yeah, it's been really fun working uh, on your videos. Uh, the work you do is really, really inspiring. Uh, awesome. Keep it up. And um, so we've been working on this book, obviously, to, to inspire others to, to follow your example. Um, and the most important thing, obviously, we have to get people uh, to read the book. So that is why we want to produce short to, to advertise the book on social media. Um, and the, the concept is really simple. Since, unfortunately, we can't uh, get together, we'll just use this Zoom call to, uh, to get some footage, and we will cut something nice out of it, uh, put some nice music under it. It's, it's going to look really, really cool. And um, so the idea basically is just to have all of the, the youth, the, the activists that join us on this call, maybe say two sentences, make it really, really brief, since there are many of you. Um, and I was thinking, I think there was one question on the agenda already. Um, so that question would be, why, why is this book project uh, important to you? How does it uh, advance your, your work? How does it support you? And then the second idea I had was maybe you can also say one sentence about what is it that you want to achieve with your work? Um, so let me just give an example. I would say maybe, um, so this book is important to me because I believe it's important to inspire others. And with my work, I hope to, um, I hope to teach others about the importance of environmental work. So this would be two sentences, make it brief. Um, I think, yes, Marianne is recording uh, the call. 
and maybe to Marianne or to whoever is recording the call, um, you can click on like speaker mode so we can see the people who are speaking in full screen, not the gallery thing, you know? It's gonna look much nicer if we can see actually the, the faces of people full screen. So uh, if you can, but you have to change that on your end. So if you can do that. I did it on my end. I don't know if that's enough or if Nam Gil needs to do it, but I did it on my end. You're the one, so that's good enough, Marianne. Whoever is recording uh, should do it. Um, and maybe also Marianne or Namgyal, one of you can go through the, the activists that are in the call. I assume you have a, a list of, of everyone who's in the call. Yes. So maybe you can just um, say the names and then you can say those two sentences. This book is important to me because, and with my work, I hope to achieve X and Y. And then we'll cut it together, make it short, and it's gonna be a, a really nice little video that we can put on social media and get people to, to read about your work and follow you on social media and learn about all the, the, the awesome stuff that you're doing. Great. And maybe there's someone, oh yes, of course. So question one would be. Uh oh, oh Namgyal is doing it. Perfect. Thanks. Second, second question is, what do you want to achieve with your work? Family okay. Are we ready? And of course, we have to mute anyone who's everyone except the one who's speaking. That would be important to have clean audio. Perfect. Okay. Ready? Okay. Let's start with our youngest or one of our youngest, Lily. My name is Lily. I'm 12 years old. I'm the founder of my initiative, Lily's Plastic Pickup. And I live in the Netherlands. And what I'd like to achieve with my work and my initiative is that I'd like to is that I would like to pick up more than 200,000 pieces of plastic, hopefully by this year. And why this book project is important to me is because is because it shows that the youth it, it is able that is and it shows that that the youth is able to to save the world and it can inspire other youth to do so as well thank you very much iris iris are you still here it's all you uh david wicker Hello, yes, thank you. Uh, I'm David Wicker, I'm 16 years old and I live in the Susa Valley in Northern Italy. Uh, I'm a climate activist and I'm working within the Fridays for Future movement, trying to raise awareness about the climate crisis and pushing institutions here locally, but also nationally uh, to act upon the climate crisis. Uh, I believe this book is important for me because I really believe it can help raise uh, awareness about the climate crisis, but also about issues that uh, many climate activists and activists in this book have been fighting uh, for. Uh, and I really think it can help upbring and uh, raise awareness about voices uh, working in really different contexts and backgrounds. Thank you. Asha, Kirkpatrick in London. Uh, hi, uh, we're Asha and Gia and we are in London, England. And this book is important to us because it really helps raise awareness about our cause. And we want to achieve through our work um, an understanding of how the food that we eat and the products that we use affect our environment. Thank you. Uh, Shia, it was in New York, who's from Mexico, Shia. Hi everyone, my name is Xie and this book is important to me because I think that storytelling is one of the most powerful tools for activation. And what, what I want to achieve with my work is make the climate justice movement intersectional and inclusive. And what organization? And I'm part of, uh, I'm the co-founder of Rearth Initiative. I have to get that in. Uh, Destiny Hodges. Destiny, um, Allah in Egypt, Sudan, Allah Salah, are you with us? Um, 
Carmen Perez. Um, Casey Shreya. Hi, everyone. I oh. am so sorry. <laughs> I'm Hi, managing. Hi. So uh, Carmen Perez, one of the founders of the Women's March on Washington. I'm also the founder of a group of superheroes called Justice League NYC and the CEO president of an organization called The Gathering for Justice. Super excited to be here. Um, this book project is important to me because I believe it's important for people to understand and hear the voices of everyone across the world who is actually doing work and who are, you know, leaders in their own right. It's an opportunity to inspire people who often sometimes find it hard to believe that there are people like themselves who actually can make change in the world. And so uh, for me, um, you know, uh, one thing that I want to get um uh, you know, what I want to achieve in my work, although I feel like I've achieved a lot, is I truly want to achieve uh, justice and peace. I want to achieve accountability when it comes to uh, police reform. I want to achieve peace in our prisons, in our communities. And again, so excited to be here with all of you, and I look forward to hearing more. Thank you. Thank you, Carmen. Beautiful. Is uh, Casey Shreya here yet? Uh, Iqbal from Pakistan. Hi, Casey's everyone. here. This is Iqbal. Oh, Hi, Iqbal. you can do it, Casey, first. Yeah, yeah. Please. Oh, there's Casey. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you. So, hello, everyone. My name is Shreya. I work as National Network Coordinator at Nepal's Youth for Climate Action and a campaign coordinator for MOCOP26. I am from Nepal. This book project is important for me because with my work, I hope to make people realize that we are seriously running out of time. It is already too late to include young people in the decision make making table. I really hope to inspire the leaders that yes, young people can lead this fight against the climate crisis. Yeah, thank you. Awesome, thank you, sweetheart. Iqbal from Pakistan. Yeah, hello. Uh, this is Iqbal from Pakistan. Um, I'm a climate activist and also the founder of Fridays for Future Pakistan chapter. Uh, this book is important for me because I think in my activism, my aim, aim is to actually aware the masses in Pakistan because my country is one of the most vulnerable country to climate change and to fight this crisis. It's really important for me to actually equip each and everyone in my country with the relevant knowledge of climate change so that they can actually cover up and fight this climate crisis. So yes, this book can actually share the story and uh, ignite the spark in every coming activist to do more work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Jet, with Fridays for Our Future Digital. No Jet. Ida, in India. Hi, my name is Avya Joshi. I'm from I'm from Mumbai, India. I'm 18 years old, and I'm the founder of the Right Green, an initiative that's dedicated to restoring urban biodiversity um, through research and education on native plants. And I think that this book is very important because we really have to bring awareness to like climate action and the damage that we're doing to our environment, and also inspire people and young people particularly to, to take action. And what I want to achieve through my work is to see native plants being used across the world as, primary, as the primary plant plants used in plantation drives. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you. Uh, Benita Davis. I know she was coming late, I think. Uh, ben S Smilowitz in Washington. Hi, everybody. Um, so I'm, I, I'm very motivated and inspired by all the young people that are profiled. And it's, I, I feel like in some ways I peaked when I was in high school professionally. Um, so I, I'm still active now. I, I run an organization that's focused on accountability in disaster responses. And, you know, there are more and more climate related disasters and you know, trillions of dollars are spent in response 
and we want to make sure that that help reaches the people that need it most. Um, and so more visibility is obviously helpful and um, we're trying to, to really help with the localization agenda to make sure more more resources reach the ground the organizations on the ground. So thank you for including and thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Ben. Um, is Perry Rasa with us? I know he was going to try from Rhode Island. Um, and Sainath from United Arab Emirates, are you with us? Uh, yeah, I'm there. Hi, I'm Sainath Manikundan from the United Arab Emirates, and I study in Gems United Indian School, Abu Dhabi. I'm the founder of Pepsi Campaign and the innovator of Maran Robo Cleaner and Agribot. I'm really proud to be associated with Dr. Jane Goodall's Roots and Shoots UAE. The Brook project is really important as we could use the power of these projects listed to advance environmental literacy and civic engagement to create a more equitable and sustainable future. Thank you. Thank you, Tana. And um, Benita Davis is with us now. Hi, good day everyone. I'm Benita Davis. I'm 25 years old and I was nominated by Sandwatch Workshop and I work at Policy Forum Guyana as your project manager. This book is important to me because it highlights what youths are doing globally to promote sustainable development. And I hope that through this book, I can improve fresh water protection and in the long run, reduce mercury use in Guyana and then by extension the world. Thank you. Thank you so much. At Niven and Tiara from Sri Lanka. Hi, Auntie. Um, my sister. Hi, my name is Niven and I'm from Sri Lanka. This book is important to me and Youth Force as our work can be heard all around the world. We want to achieve to teach over 10,000 children uh, from various villages in Sri Lanka. Thank you so much, Niven. Uh, Bitsabi, Pathways to Peace, are you with us? So from Puerto Rico, Cassandra. Hello, uh, my name is Cassandra Castillo. So um, I was involved with Stone um, Soup Institute um, since um, their first initiative, which was Vieques Youth Leadership Initiative. So um, after that, um, well, there we focus on our dreams and what we wanted to achieve for our island um, it's an island off of, uh, it's part of Puerto Rico. Um, after that, I, I continue to be involved um, and we focus on um, sustainability, um, youth leadership, entrepreneurship, um, making sure everyone is able to achieve, to get the education that they wanted. Um, currently I work in, uh, in resale. So I direct the operations department in a resale company called Rebag. So we buy and sell designer bags and accessories. So um, this book is important to me because it focuses on solutions. So um, I believe it, that's the way we can influence people, um, showing them how other people are, are doing that. Um, and what I would like to achieve um, <laughs> is to um, make sure that other, like, like companies adapt these practices that are sustainable for it to become the norm to do, to operate in a way that um, does not impact negatively the environment, so. Cassandra. Uh, Trevor Tanaka from Hawaii, who's now in California. So this book is important to me because I started out as a youth in the Stone Soup uh, Leadership Institute at one of their first summits and I was one of the original Hawaii youth there. Um, so nine years later, I'm still involved with the Institute. And I think that it's important to highlight opportunities for kids to understand what sustainability means and all the different areas that they can improve their life and incorporate it so that they can lead a more sustainable future and be part of the solution, not the reason why we're here, so. Thanks, Trevor. So our elders and emerging leaders, Hank, would you like to say a few words? Yes, my name is Hank Rogers. 
My Blue Planet Foundation passed a mandate in Hawaii to achieve 100% renewable energy by 2045, the first state in the country to do so. I am launching the Blue Planet Alliance in New York to fix our broken planet by 2045. This book should unite young people to demand that old, older people clean up the mess they have made before they leave. And I will create a world in which humanity and nature live in harmony. Thank you, Hank. And um, Hillary Peterson from True Botanicals, would you like to say hello? Yes, hi everybody. Uh, I'm Hillary Peterson, the founder of True Botanicals. Uh, we make biocompatible natural beauty products and we're on a mission to transform beauty into a collective force of well being, starting with the way that our ingredients are farmed to the removal of any toxins from personal care products, our products and then the recyclability of our packaging. So um, as you can imagine, this book is really important to me because I do believe change is possible. And um, I think to inspire more people to believe that through this book will be very powerful. Thank you. Thank you, Hillary. And Francois, would you like to say hello? I'd love to say hello. Hello from Spain, everyone. Um, well, I'm, I'm the founder of C2C. Uh, C2C was started five years ago. What we do is that we collect uh, marine plastic. We started doing that in Spain, coastal communities in Spain, France, and we're doing that in different African countries. So the idea is um, we empower the coastal communities, um, we value waste, we collect that uh, plastic, and we recycle it. And we've created a brand of eyewear called C2C uh, that we are selling in thousands of stores uh, across the world. So what I'm proud of, of being part of that book, Marianne, thank you very much for that. And I, it's very simple. I think, you know, united, we're much stronger. Um, and by combining all these positive energies, people are trying to do things differently is really how we're going to achieve that alone. It's very difficult, but combining all these forces, it's just, it's just wonderful. And that's how it's going to work. Um, and about my work, what we are achieving is we're proving that, you know, we can produce differently, um, that fashion can be different, and that consumer can be also part of it. You know, a simple gesture like, you know, wearing a pair of glasses can make a difference. And a uh, very simple gesture altogether can make a big difference. Wonderful. Welcome. It's great to meet you. I understand uh, a lot. Uh, Salah is on now. Would you like to say hello, Allah? Hi, hello everyone. Uh, nice to meet you. I am Allah Salah from Sudan. Um, I study um, architecture engineering in Sudan International University, and I am activist. Um, nice to meet you all. Thank you. Thank you. So great to meet you. So um, that took a little longer than we planned, but that's okay. This is the, the priority. You're the priority. And it's just so wonderful to meet you all. And I hope that you're all inspired by this wonderful moments together. Um, we wanted to just give you a little, a quick little highlight um, about our social media and what we've been doing. Some of you are quite um, accomplished in that. And so we love your thoughts and ideas and support. Um, Nina uh, and Elizabeth are our champions for that. So they're just going to give you a couple of highlights about what we're up to and um, what we're who we're featuring next week. Nina? So yep, yeah, hi and welcome from California. Um, so next week we are featuring Lily Platt, who you all met and who we've seen cheering for everybody else in the background. Um, and so we're looking forward to supporting her next week. Um, I think it'd be great if everybody else chimed in and supported her next week and we can sort of kick off a, a habit of sh helping each other to shine the light on the work that you're all doing. Um, and then following that will lead into Earth Day and Marianne had mentioned if you have Earth Day projects or events that you're working on, let us know, let me know, and we will help to share those and sort of spread the 
the news of the good work that you're doing. Um, and then um, we will be eventually leading up to the world's largest book signing, <laughs> which is really exciting and kind of um, overwhelming for me to think about, but it's gonna be great. And that is for the weekend of June 24th to the 25th. Um, and that is uh, in alignment with the summit, which you'll hear about later. Um, and between now and then, something that we are hopeful we can do, and Marianne kicked off a little bit um, in the email for this, is coming up with a hashtag that everybody can use on that day. Um, you'll have a swag uh, package sent to you with material and the book. Um, and so the hope is that on the same day, everybody would post selfies, use that hashtag. And, um, you know, we're hoping that because we have so many people all over the world, we're just gonna like cover the planet with stone soup for a sustainable world with all the wonderful things that you're all doing. So um, that is my part. And I will let Elizabeth tell you about what we're doing with influencers. Hi, everyone. Um... If I keep cutting out, I'm sorry, my Wi-Fi is not the most stable right now. Um, my name is Elizabeth. Um, I recently graduated from Berkeley where I studied environmental science. Um, and so I'm also really passionate about you know, communications and outreach. Um, so I'm glad to find a job that allows me to you know, pursue two things I'm really interested in. Um, I help Nina with some of the support for you know, finding research on like people that we should partner with, um, such as, you know, influencers or journalists who can help, you know, spread the word of what y'all are doing. Um, so I'm excited to, you know, meet you guys virtually on this call and kind of promote all the work you're doing. It's super inspiring. Thanks, Elizabeth. So um, Nam Gill and I are working on the world's largest book signing. And um, Jim and I, who's not on the call, will be working with Porchlight uh, to get books to 38 countries which is no small task, as you can imagine. And so what we need to be able to do uh, with all of you is uh, to find a bookstore in your community that you like or that you know is either open or does a virtual kind of activity. Um, we'll have signed books and then each one of you that are in the book can be part of signing the book and at the same time promoting what you do. So we have little grants available for those of you that would need a little support either with travel or to print some materials or like with Fridays for Our Future Digital, they wanted routers for some of their team. So we can provide a little financial support for you if you need that. Um, <clears throat> during that day, you'll have a t-shirt, you'll have a book. As Nina was saying, love to have you take a photo of that. We'll do a whole thing about social media and we're looking at the hashtag. Cassandra and I brainstormed last night about shining the light, something that could go viral. So we haven't decided, but any ideas you might have, please share them because you folks are all uh, experts in all of that. We are looking for donations for the swag bag. It'll be an amazing opportunity to have, you know, cross promotions of any kind of products that are connected, that are sustainable, that we can share with all these wonderful people around the world. Um, if you have someone in your world that's a celebrity or a, a very important person, person of prominence that might help to shine the light more on you, please invite them. Uh, we have a little map that we can send out to show you what exactly it looks like. Our thought is to start in New Zealand because that's where, um, and then I'll go all the way to Hawaii. And that's a starting on the 24th and ending on the 25th, so 24 hours. We'll be sending you more specifics of that, especially after we hear from you about your bookstores and who really wants to participate um, and who's available for that. So the time zone challenges we're trying to figure out, Nam Gill's become quite an expert in that. So we have some thoughts. And then the other thing is if you have press, if you have people that you know that are in the media that have written about you um, or that would like to know about you, Elizabeth and Nina and other people are gathering that information so we can be sure and let them know what's happening. The purpose of the world's largest book sign is to be able to get uh, publicity for all of you. We did this for my first book in person. We had the world's largest book signing and it was with 40 people. I was in New York and people all over were um, at different bookstores and signing people up for opportunities to help their organization at the same day. 
Uh, it was um, Ram Dass's first public event after he had a stroke. Um, hopefully most of you know who Ram Dass was. He passed about a year ago, but it was a great honor to have him there. So it's a beautiful thing to know that we're all together doing something that's shining the light on the same day. So that's coming and you'll get more information and please let Nam Gill know um, your interest and she has a little form that she can fill out. I wanted, I wanted to also share with you, we're talking quickly here, but I wanted to make sure that you understand that there's a much, much bigger role uh, that we're trying to play in terms of educating um, young people about the opportunities for sustainability. So Trevor and Eric, I think, are on the call and they're part of our education curriculum team. Um, and we're working really hard on that along with Nina. Trevor, do you want to say a few words about that? Yeah, absolutely. So kind of like we were talking about earlier, we're trying to build tools. And now because of everything going on, mainly virtual tools to allow students to learn more about sustainability, individuals who are doing well in sustainability and how they can get their foot in the door or advance their knowledge of how they can assist or volunteer their time or find a career that is based in the realm of sustainability, um, whether it's climate change or renewable energy or plastics or anything from there. So each of your stories, there is a lesson plan attached to it. So in that lesson plan, we highlight what your story is about, what your journey was about, some highlights during your story, and then uh, language arts activities, STEM activities, sustainability innovations related to your story, and then highlighting the organization or company or whatever you work for and how great that experience has been and why we think it's important for them to know about it. So with each of those comes standards and curriculum, and we hope that teachers will be able to access this so they can hear more about the book and highlight all of your stories and the journeys that you have been on. Thank you, Trevor, appreciate it. And um, Nina and Trevor, are working on uh, a podcast with an educator who has a, an outreach to 200,000 educators. And she's going to be um, featuring this podcast um, on Earth Day so that we can start to um, let the education community know about these free tools and all of you. And so we're pretty excited about that. Um, at that um, podcast, we will be providing a uh, link for the Amazon Live link for the book on April 22nd. So we'll be sure and send that to you and ask it that you share it. We will also be announcing the opportunity to nominate young people to be in our 17th virtual sustainability summit. And um, we ask that educators come with their young people to that. So Trevor, do you want to say a few words about the summit and um, invite folks? Yeah, absolutely. So like Marianne was saying, we're really excited for our summit. This is the 17th one we've done. And due to the virtual nature of it, like we did it last year, we are able to have more participants, both students and speakers. So we would like to invite any of you, if you would like to be speakers at the summit and talk about your experience in sustainability, expand upon your story that you did for the book and why it's important and where students can really get involved because these will be ninth to 12th grade students who are interested in sustainability and have a passion and want to make a difference, but they might not know where they can make a difference. So if any of you guys would like to be speakers and help give these students some direction, we'd really appreciate it because it's a great group of kids at the summit every year. And we would love to have your input on working with these students. So, and that'll be the 21st to the 25th, most likely um, time. The time is somewhat flexible. We haven't locked in the dates completely, but if you guys are available during that week, um, if you could give Marianne or Namgale or I an email, then we can try to find the time that works best for you to speak to the students. And it'll be um, like this time of day will be the starting point. So then we'll have to determine time zones. Um, Trevor, since you're, you're up, why don't you talk a little bit about our efforts to try to connect people on whether it's radio podcasts or Clubhouse or Zoom and get people's thoughts about that. Yeah, so we were talking about this um, as an institute and how we can best promote your stories and support all of you and kind of create a big collaborative group so that we can highlight 
every all the work that you guys are doing and if you guys have any you know advancements that you guys are doing within your organizations or companies and you'd like to inform the rest of us and to kind of create a network so we were thinking about creating either a clubhouse or participate in a radio podcast where we would highlight sustainability because if any of you guys know what clubhouse is or some of these other streaming services it's not really you know the buzz topic um so our thought process was to create a clubhouse where we would answer questions and talk about the book and stories and then be able to host one of your guys stories weekly or monthly and all the work that you guys are doing and to give us updates on your organizations and how more people can get involved so that we could potentially reach more people in addition to our work with the summit so if anybody has any ideas of social media outreach or whether they think instagram live or something else would work best um, feel free to fire away so towards that end we've had some really great calls with some of you before this one to kind of try to determine what's the best approach and how we can collaborate. And um, I wanted to give a shout out to Jet, who I guess is on the call now. Jet, would you like to introduce yourself and answer the question that, that everyone else has? We'll splice you into the video that uh, Felix is creating. Jet, are you with us? Sorry, I was disconnected from audio for a second. Um, what was the question? The question is your, your name, your organization. Can we see your face? Because everyone else had their video on so we could see you because um, it's a video. Yeah, sure, for a second. There you go. Oh, Hi. you can't. <laughs> hold yeah. on. Let's see if I can change the angle. There you go. Your, um, your name, your organization, how you think the book project is uh, can support your efforts, and what do you hope to achieve? Yeah, um, yeah, my name is Jet. I take him pronouns. I am a part of Fridays for Future Digital. And yeah, so the book project. Yeah, I'm just excited to be like connected to, you know, everyone here and, you know, being able to, I guess, share my story and my angle of how I, I got involved with. Um, climate activism, I guess. So yeah, just happy to be here. Thanks, Jet. And I understand Eli is on the call. Eli Kenny, can you say hi and tell us your organization, Eli, and why you think this is important? Yes? Eli, are you with us? Okay. And um, Jerome Foster. Jerome is newly appointed to the White House Environmental Justice Council. Jerome, do you want to say hi? Hi. Yeah, absolutely. Um, my hi. name is Jerome Foster II. I'm 18 years old. Um, I'm the founder and executive director of One Million of Us, which is an international youth education organization. Um, and also, I was newly appointed to the White House Environmental Justice Advisory Council. Um, and I'm currently the youngest um, person working inside the Biden administration um, in general. And now I'm working specifically on environmental justice, identifying which communities need the support and um, also working on the next executive order language um, that needs to be implemented um, that works on like inter-American um, actions and also how we look internationally to combat the climate crisis over the next decade. Congratulations, Jerome. We're really proud Thank of you. you. Thank you so much. And I, I was able to yeah. change your story at the very last minute to add that new accomplishment. So we're happy for Thank you. you. Thank yeah, you. I'm so excited to be a part of this book. It's like an awesome amalgamation of like the youth climate movement. And like, it just tells the story in like a really unique way. I just love it. So yeah, happy to be a part of it. Thank you. And thanks for nominating Jet and Iris. We really enjoy working with them too. Um, so uh, I don't see a lie but I hear she was on the call. So if she comes back, Nam Gill or someone, tell me about it. Um, for those of you, again, that, that would like some support, uh, we have a couple more minutes. I wanted to just say, um, I see Chip's question about the world's largest book signing. And Chip, um, Chip Cummins, excuse me. Um, and it really, there's an, it depends. It depends upon, uh, you know, who signs up, who's going to make a commitment. Uh, we'll get the books, we'll get the swag bags, we'll get everything to you. Uh, we just need to make sure that 
you know, then we figure out the time zones based on that. So our thought was if we started in New Zealand, um, and then maybe we even hook up somebody like Sylvia Earle, who's a friend of and supportive of what Cruz is doing and is featured in his story um, to shine a little light and then go around go around the world that way. So by the time it gets to Colorado, it'd be the Friday. So we start on a Thursday and we start end on a Friday if we were, or you're now in Phoenix, so Arizona. So it would be Thursday at the end, Friday at the end of the day, probably for you, Chip. And for Shia, it'd probably be, you know, earlier. So we're going to try and figure out all of those time zone logistics once we finalize who's, in, who's actually going to be part of this. Um, I, I don't mean to be vague, but it's a kind of a chicken and egg situation. Um, and those of you, like we talked to Jet and we talked to some others about the need for uh, some financial support. So there's a application form on our website. Um, just fill that out, send it in. Um, we are hoping uh, after the book launch to be able to get some partnerships with some other foundations to be able to provide larger amounts of grants to some of you who are really in need of work. We've provided some grants uh, already to Vanessa Nakate in Uganda and to some other of our young people, um, to Vanessa's solar project with the schools in Uganda. Um, and so we will continue to do more of that as long as we can start to find some other supporters who understand the importance. You know, for those of you who are um, accomplished uh, elders, um, these young people, you know, held up a sign one day and it changed their lives. They didn't sign up to be on the front lines for the last two years. And so, you know, they need jobs. They need opportunities. You know, they need people to support them. They need mentors. They need people who've been there, done this, that know it's going to take a while. This isn't anything that's happening anytime soon. So please, anyone that you know that you think might help us, I know some of you are connected up with celebrities and we'd love to have their uh, star power. I will say that when I um, got a call that Ted Danson wanted to do a Zoom with me, I had to really like think about what I was I gonna wear and how I was gonna look. And I was kind of nervous, you know, and um, that's pretty intimate to have a 40 minute call with Ted Danson. But he's so, so proud of all of you and all of the work you're doing. I know some of the young people might not know who he is. Check him out. He's a good guy. He's been fighting for the oceans for 20 years, over 20 years. So he's, he's really supportive. And we have some wonderful, wonderful quotes on the book that you'll see. Some of them, you know, might not be as involved, but just to know that um, there's so many people out there that really think you're doing great work and we're going to do whatever we can to kind of help shine the light on you. So it's a chance on the 24th and 5th. Think about like, what would you like to say? How would you like to get your message out there? You'll have another short time like this, um, maybe a little longer and your materials, your website, your Facebook page, you know, get all of that kind of stuff worked out now so that when June 24th happens and we start to shine the light, you know, the press calls and they go, hey, do you have somebody in Asia? I mean, that's what the press was asking me this week. You know, given what's going on in the United States, um, it's a horrible situation. So they are, the press is looking for positive news about the Asian community. And I'm like, okay, but the book, our PR people said, we can't announce anything till we have a live link on Amazon. So just so you know, we're gonna be, letting um shining the light on you whenever we can and our pr person's going to look for those opportunities so you know jerome you have an inside edge anything you need to shine the light on you let me know i know that you're going to be on the front lines during earth day tell us what are you doing for earth day with secretary Kerry and biden what's happening yeah, so um, I'm working on the executive office of the presidency, so I don't work specifically in the cabinet, but I have heard some of what's going on um, there. We have like good news on like people that are actually making strong commitments for the climate and like we're actually showing like leadership, but we haven't had our first meeting yet. So I can't give you like too many details, which is like pretty sad. We we're supposed to have our meeting earlier this morning, but it's been postponed to next week. Um, but I can let you guys know once that that happens, like I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date as soon as it goes. But, Thank you. Yeah. 
So we have about seven minutes and anyone else who would like to add some thoughts, ideas about what they what kind of campaigns are coming. If you have something for Earth Day, if you'd like something for us to shine a light on, if you'd like to say something to the whole group, this is your moment. So um, maybe just start, let's see. Nam Gil, can you pay attention to who's talking? Who wants to talk? Yeah, wave, wave your hand or something. Mm -hmm. I think Chip wants to say something. Okay, so hi ahead. Chip. Hi, 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 Marianne. First of all, I want to thank you for your amazing effort, and I'm so delighted to see Chie and Jerome and and the other youth leaders here that have been, you know, really digging deep and 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 bringing this issue to the forefront. And congratulations, Jerome, for your appointment at the White House. That's just terrific news. I wanted to let everybody know that we, um, I have teamed up again with my old partner, Luis Hoyos on a project called Projecting Change 21. And the plan is to put images onto the United Nations on the 22nd to the 24th of October and for three hours a night for three days uh, to, uh, to do what we did uh, again uh, in 2015, we projected chain images onto the Empire State Building and then onto the Vatican later that year and generated over 5 billion impressions. And we're hoping to ignite the world once again on the issue of climate solution in anticipation of the uh, event in uh, Scotland the following week. And so I'm bringing this to this group because I'd love to talk to uh, you all about how you would like to be involved as I'm also part of the team that's curating what we're actually going to be doing. <clears throat> so, you know, the idea is that we're gonna be projecting images across the East River uh, in Manhattan and onto the east facing side that great wall of the un and people will be watching on their iphones there'll be a qr code and so forth that will go out and um, i wanted to connect stone soup you know into that process because i think it's a tremendous opportunity to um to inform the world of of uh, all of our collective work and um so that's thank really you. what i wanted to contribute and thank you so much marianne thank you chip I appreciate it so we have another four minutes. Do we have a young person that's got a campaign or something like for Earth Day that we, you'd like to let everybody know about or something that we should be highlighting in social media? Hi, my hand is raised, but I don't know. Can I? OK, go ahead. I'm not hearing you, Marianne. Yes, I, I wasn't. Uh -oh. Oh, yep. So, yeah, so for Earth Day, Policy Forum Guyana and myself are partnering with WWF Guyana. So, we plan on launching a campaign with Suriname as well to promote fresh water, well, water protection in general. So, we over in Guyana will look at fresh water and rivers in terms of gold mining and mercury use. While in Suriname, they're looking at pollution. And so, this um, organization, Green Heritage Fund, also in over in Suriname, proposed to have this virtual conference for World Oceans Day, which is June 8. And so those are the two main activities that we'll be focusing on. So on our social media pages, I know Stone Soup follows up some, we follow them. <laughs> so we're pretty close on social media. So we'll be sharing um, our activities with you so you can assist us by also resharing and posting about it, about the um, freshwater issue in Guyana and Suriname. Because the big issue is gold mining. And we have a lot of artisanal small scale miners. So our freshwater sources are heavily polluted. And we have several indigenous communities that depend heavily on these sources for basic needs. So that's why we're focusing on that campaign for the for the this year to next year. Thank you, Benita. Last call, one more person. Who can we anyone want to share something? I just want to say thank you very much for allowing me to be here today. It was great listening to everyone today. Thank you very much. And have a good day, night, afternoon, or oh, whatever time it is. Just have a great something. Thank you, Lily. Well, I'm so happy you're with us, Lily. I know that when we had the summit last year, you were one of the stars. Everyone was listening to you. And you're, and you're so animated. You're a good teacher, Lily. Did you know that? 
You're oh, thank so, you very much. Yes, you're so animated. And you know how to put the camera in such a way we can see your face. There's oh, a few, yeah, there's a few people on this call that need to take lessons from you so that we can all see you. So obviously you're a pro. You've been doing this a while. I have. I just usually just put the camera in a certain position and make sure that the lighting isn't too dark. That's basically just what I do. And also so that where I'm sitting isn't so isn't is um, uh, is a place where I can sit so that I don't move a lot so that it hopefully isn't distracting. That's often just a tip for uh, for sitting down for a meeting sometimes. Well, thanks for the tip, Lily. I appreciate it. And and you know, it's a great thing to be able to get tips from from young people because you guys really have uh, thought these things through. How are we going to get this message out, right? And we're so happy that I know that Dr. Jane Goodall is one of your supporters and you're one of hers and we have a lovely quote from her on the book cover. She was the very last book quote to get on the book cover. So I was really happy. I worked really hard with Sanus mom and others to get Dr. Jane Goodall's quote on the book. So we're pretty proud of that. Oh, that's so sweet. That's great. Thank you. Well, listen, if if uh, with that, we can't beat Lily. So if, if anyone has any questions, um, you know, Namgil has all of our contact information and our emails you want to reach out regarding the book signing and with the summit, if you want to be a speaker, just pass that along to Trevor. Um, and your social media, Nina, will be the one that's reaching out and Elizabeth. So, um, you know, we really thank you and we'll be sending you some more information soon. And, um, you know, good, good luck with all of your efforts. Stay strong. That's what my mentor, Nani Alejandre would say. Stay strong. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good night. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Mom. Oh, I just had a question, sorry, yes, about the yes. days of the the days of the summit. Yes, honey. Oh, where is she? Oh, Sia. 21st to the 25th. Uh, Shia, we're we're uh, we're waiting to uh, finalize the exact um, who's all in the uh, summit because this Zoom that's happening or this podcast that's happening on April 22nd is a nomination process. So we're waiting to see where the teachers are, where the kids are. But usually we have them based upon the East Coast time. And so it starts at like 10 a.m. East Coast time. And then it goes till 4 p.m. East Coast time. I see. But we, may, we may shorten those. We may have a few less days, especially because of the world's largest book signing. So. You know, we're waiting to see what the response is. In the past, just to clarify, because I know um, uh, you have to think about your schedule and what's up with that. Um, in the past, we've worked really intensely with one community. So Cassandra talked about Vieques, and we had four summits there, and it was just young people from Vieques. We had one in Virgin Gorda. We had them in eight in Martha's Vineyard, and we had young people from islands for the communities we worked in. So last year we've done it in Newport, Rhode Island, so forth. But last year was our first virtual and we only work with young people in New Bedford last summer and Cape Cod. And so this year we're opening it up nationally. So it's kind of, we're a little new to find, you know, we're waiting to see. So if you have some thoughts or ideas, is there something, a question behind your question? No, I just wanted to like offer myself as a speaker if it fit my schedule. Um, so I just wanted to know like when it was to make sure like, you know, I'm not. Good thing to do, Shia. Why don't you tell, send me a text or an email with when you're available that week and we can try to book something around that. What we did last year is like Jerome was on it or Lily was on it, Vanessa, Jamie, Margolin. And so, you know, we had them on for like half an hour so we could okay. find the time there, you know, and sometimes there was, we had one day we had a panel, Trevor seemed to be partial to doing that again. So we do some breakout sessions so you could stick around if you wanted to with Trevor loves breakout sessions. So let us know what your schedule is. We'll try to work around it, honey, okay? 
Awesome. You said the 24th and 25th? Well, 21st to the 25th is the week. And uh -huh. the, the book signing is the 24th and 5th. So Monday's the 21st. Okay. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we're still planning that out right now. Sounds awesome. I'll email you. I'm so glad you could be with us. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm glad I could make it. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye. Anyone else have questions? I think we're good. Congratulations, Namgil. That was good texting. And Definitely. Felix, Felix, are you still on the call? Felix left? He left, yep. Okay, I'll talk with him about getting the video. Okay, thanks, Trevor. Nice to Thank see you. Thank you, everybody. Amanda. Nice to see you. It was really nice meeting everybody new and seeing everyone. All righty. Thanks, Chip. Thanks, Marianne. Let us know if you need any help um, organizing the summit. That's what we specialize in. And um, we could maybe offer some, you know, curation, get some other people that you might want to speak, that kind of thing. Um, there's a lot going on um, between, you know, <clears throat> Carrie's meeting at the White House, of course, on the 22nd, 23rd, <clears throat> but uh, the run up to the summit, I mean, um, well, to the, let's call it the Earth Day, you know, there's so many different things. Kathleen Rogers is doing some stuff in Washington with Earth Day Network, and I'm aware of, you know, stuff happening in Dallas with EarthX, and so it'd be lovely to be able to coordinate Stone Soup in a way <clears throat> that you can cross or collateralize all of that. So that they're aware of you and you know I just think what you're doing is so important connecting the dots around the world with the youth it's just thank you so much. <laughs> thank you chip will we'll, uh, you i'm glad Trevor was on to hear that so we'll follow up okay. Have a great day everyone lovely thank weekend you. bye bye. Bye.